So what are you doing today, Maureen? Isn't it too hot to be outside? Yes. But it's actually cooled off this evening a little bit. And uh, so I wanted to um, just kind of talk about the straws. And after all the uh, spaghetti squashes, I thought we should maybe uh, pick one or two. That's gonna take less energy from the plant because there is just so many squashes. So this way, if I clip a couple, then we'll be able to continue to grow the uh, the rest of them. So let's have a look. These squashes here, they're all in a grow bag and I'm just circling them around. But one of the things that I think that is really, really working well is the straw bales. Because when I'm watering it, I'm soaking the whole the whole straw bale. So that is keeping that moisture in. So it's not just evaporating. There's one of our pumpkins. I think I see a big patty pan in there. Let's cut that guy off. Hokey Dinah. Hokey Dinah. Yes. Look at the size of it. It's wonderful. <gasps> It's like a beautiful piece of sunshine. I think I might've let them get a little bit too far, but anyway, let's keep continue on. Now I put a couple of my straw bales on their sides like this. And uh, I don't know that I will do it again because they do start to collapse. Like if we look at this third one, you see it's all kind of collapsed down on itself. If you look at this one here, you can see there is some collapsing too, but it is staying in one piece but I wanted to also show you this kabuta squash. Come around here. So I've never grown these ones before. Their rind will be black and the inside will be bright orange. She looks like a little pumpkin, very cute. Just wanted to show a couple more squashes. So this is the Big Mac's pumpkin. Look at how gorgeous he looks. I got him up on his bottom so that he won't be so crooked. So, and then if we just squiggle over here, bigger of the two doll, doll baby watermelons. So we've got a watermelon this big now. Looks good. White bottom, still not ready. I just keep this over it. I don't want any of the deer stepping on it. So I have a massive spaghetti squash here. So I think we're gonna cut him off. Then I have another one here that's a pretty good size. I think we'll cut him too. Actually, this one is not much smaller than that one, isn't it? Let's cut him too. Okay, Maureen, you should calm down. You don't need to cut them all up right now. Let's do one more. We'll just cut this guy right here. I'm just gonna do a little bit of watering here and then we're gonna go and weigh those bad boys. So I'm not sure if you will be able to hear me over the fans but I just wanted to kind of talk about the fact that these are what is considered summer squash. And summer squash is when you actually are picking your squash nice and early. Um, so the, the skin is not as firm. Um, of course, these would go yellow in the fall. The big one that's here, it's, it was beginning to turn yellow, but you can see here that it does have a little bit of, of a hue of yellow in it. But the skin is still pretty soft. Well, mind you, I think in this light, I don't think you can, I don't think you can see it that as well, but trust me, it is rather yellow. So if I left this on the plant, it would start to firm up and give me a nice yellow rind. But we're gonna just, you know, take some extra energy off of the plant. For you, those of you in Canada, I hope you're having a wonderful long weekend. And for the rest of you, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care and God bless.